The following movie will give you an overview of how to use the Inductive Distance Measurement or IDM toolkit. It is used to check the condition of rotating parts, for example on rotary kilns or bore mills during operation. Without needing direct contact, it measures the variation in the distance of the moving metal surfaces with high accuracy and high speed. Therefore, it can be considered as a contactless dial gauge. Out of the various possible applications, this movie shows how to measure variations in the deflection of the support roller shafts, called roller shaft bending. To use the tool, strictly follow the safety rules given by the respective plant and local authorities. The IDM toolkit comes in a strong and tight transport case, which mainly includes the following items. The IDM controller, different sensors with measuring ranges from 4 to 25 millimeters, two magnetic stands with extension rods, signal cables, and in the lid, the manual as well as the software for Windows, the TomTom Tools Measurement Studio. In a first step, the sensor has to be prepared for the installation with the help of a magnetic stand and some extension rods. Due to the high stiffness of the roller shafts, the movements are very small, within tenths of a millimetre. To reach the highest accuracy, the small sensor of 12 millimetres is used. To measure the effect of a crank, the inductive sensor is placed under the support roller in the line of force. That means on the opposite side of the contact to the kiln tyre. The setup has to be adapted to the local circumstances. Ensure that the sensor does not touch the measuring surface and that the distance is approximately in the middle of the measuring range. Connect the sensor with the IDM controller, preferably at input channel 1. Plug the controller into the USB port of the laptop. After this, start up the measurement studio. The software screen is structured in the following way. In the top left corner are the main function buttons. Below, the window with the connected tools and files. For the moment, the upper part of the middle window shows the sensor scaling. Here the sampling rate can be adjusted. The graphs show the active input channels. In the top right window are the events and information about the condition of the measurement tool. In the log window below is the list of activities which are performed during measurement. When the IDM controller is connected, it will be displayed in the overview window under Devices. To start a new measurement, click on Measurement, New, IDM, Roller Shaft Bending. A channel settings window pops up where the sensor has to be selected. After this, the first peer will be displayed as per default. More peers can be added by right-clicking the mouse and selecting Add Peer. Enter useful additional information about the measurement into the settings window. After selecting the roller, click on the start button or press F5 to start the first measurement. Immediately the distance values between sensor and roller surface are being displayed. To calculate the roller shaft bending value and its position around the kiln, the software needs a rotation reference, typically the manhole. Each time the reference point passes by, push F9 to indicate the kiln rotation. A yellow line in the graph will show the position of the reference point. Ensure to push F9 when the manhole is in line with the sensor. After about three kiln revolutions, sufficient data has been collected and the measurement can be stopped. To stop the measurements, push the stop button or F6. The calculated roller shaft bending and its position are displayed in the kiln sketch. Now the magnetic stands with the sensor can be removed. To double check the result, it is recommended to also measure the opposite roller. As observable from the graph, a rough roller surface leads to high amplitudes in the measuring signal. However, the calculated roller shaft bending is the same. The green line shows the measured values. 
The blue sign curve shows the variation of the roller shaft bending. The red graph indicates the roundness of the support roller. Now all on-site activity is complete and the data analysis can be done back in the office. More information can be found in the manual or on the website of tomtomtools.com.